killing the coronavirus in its tracks. It's a struggle that started with the pandemic. More research is showing evidence that ultraviolet light can be an effective tool in killing the virus. But can it kill COVID-19 in air conditioning systems? It's an expensive question. News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval looked into this for us. He's here with what he found. Eric? Yeah, Lisa and Matt, we checked. And since the pandemic started back in March, hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars have been spent installing UV lights inside air conditioning systems all across Central Florida. We wanted to know what the experts had to say about this and if this technology really works is we've been taking what the sun's been doing for a billion years and bringing it inside buildings where the sun can no longer get you. Terrence Burland knows ultraviolet light. Light's been killing germs since the beginning of time. He says his company, so, Violet Defense, in downtown Orlando... This is some of our product. <laughs> ...has been hard at work harnessing that light to fight the coronavirus. In that flash is a significant amount of UV energy. He says their work um, in sanitization really is already being used by the Orlando Magic and the New York City subway system. Is it killing COVID-19? Oh, it definitely kills COVID-19. Berlin says his researchers have shown when UV light is exposed to the COVID-19 virus on surfaces, it can kill its DNA, preventing it from reproducing. But can it do the same thing inside air conditioning units? News 6 found hundreds of thousands of dollars is being spent across Central Florida to outfit government heating and air conditioning systems with UV light systems. Volusia County approved more than $250,000 for it in June. Marion County approved a similar project in the same month. And in September, Orange County Public Schools approved a $13.2 million proposal to install UV lights in their HVAC system. So if you're trying to keep your cooling coils clean and you're trying to make sure that you don't have a biofilm that builds up, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to clean the air, um, it's really suspect. The Food and Drug Administration takes it a step farther on their website, saying there is limited published data about the wavelength, dose, and duration of ultraviolet radiation required to inactivate COVID-19. Well, we changed our mind on what we're going to do first. Orange County School Board Chair Teresa Jacobs says after looking at the research, the district made the decision to hold off on installing UV, opting instead for better air filters first. And Marion County admits it's not a silver bullet. A spokesman telling News 6, we do not take the expenditure of taxpayer funds lightly. And we believe this technology is an investment in the long-term health and safety of our residents and our employees. Now, we also got a hold of Volusia County officials. They tell us they also know UV light is not a total solution in the fight against COVID-19, but they say they're confident it at least serves as an added layer of protection. Of course, we're going to continue to watch to see what other layers of protection are added. Back to you. Very interesting story. Eric Sandoval, thank you.